Yo, what is up, Squirtle Crews? This is JD here, bringing you another Pokétuber battle against the shiny Eevee here. And like I said, this is the part two. This is a legendary style battle. Uh, she only had four legendaries. I had the whole six here. Uh, but. It was a pretty good match here. Uh, we're just gonna show you the match right now. But she only had uh, four out of six here. Uh, and I didn't know until later that she told me when we were doing the match that she only had four out of six of her moms here. But I go ahead and start off with the Iron Man of all Iron Man, the Reggie Steel. She goes into Shaman. She was trying to figure out why her Shaman could have been in her Sky form. I was like, it has to be in your party to be a Sky form Shaman. And she was like, ah. But she went for the C Flare. Didn't do as much. I go for the Paralyze. And. I go for a Zamia so I can get a good special boost so I can be at plus six. So I just used it the first and then I used it the second time, getting a second boost. All I need is one more boost. I am very bulky. And then she switches out into her peer, that would mean her. Uh, what you call it, her, uh, sweet view. Sorry, I'm so tired. Um, basically, she sends out the sweet view, trying to get a burn off of the skull. Doesn't do it. I do get the paralyze off. So now I'm at Zamia plus six. I just paralyzed her sweet view. She switches out. Because now she fears the fact that it's low and she can't do anything about it. So I'll go for an iron hit. And it seems like I am a little bit faster. Well, no, I'm not a little bit faster. It's just because since she switched, I was kind of like, I thought I was kind of a little bit faster. But it turns out that I am a little bit faster actually than the Arceus. That is surprisingly. I uh, do go for the Stomp and try to see if I can get a flinch. I didn't get a flinch. Just go for the burn, uh, burnt fire, burnt blast thing. And I was like, well, I didn't know this thing could learn that. I do go for another stomp. I go for an iron hit. It just is now trying to get down. But I didn't know this thing could learn uh, blast burn. Honestly, I'm surprised that this thing does learn such a move like that because. And that is only just for fire type starters that learns that type of move. The fact that this thing learns it, it seems like this Pokemon is pretty much hacked. I'm surprised that she was able to play with this Pokemon on here, the fact that it was hacked. So I switched into the Thundercat, switch out with the Volt Switch. Wasn't trying to really deal with that much of this Pokemon. And sent out the most amazing Mew here of today. Go for the knockoff. And it seems like I cannot knock off items here from, from the plates or stuff like that. I was hoping it would. But she goes for the judgment on here. And did a pretty good amount of damage. She decides to switch out. Doesn't want to lose her Arceus. That's alright. I understand. Uh, she sends out a rushy round. I decided to go for another knockoff, try to knock off any items. I knock off a dragon fang, go for another knockoff since I am choice scarf into knockoff. I think so. Uh, and then she goes for another, uh, no, I'm choice. No, am I choice specs? I think I'm choice specs. But, Oh well, she kills off the Mew, and that kind of sucks. She did, she's fearing the uh, Raikou, so she decides to switch out into her pure. 
And that was like a legendary beef face toss. So I go for the shadow ball. Trying to see if I can do any damage. Got a crit. So the sight of will switch out. Hoping that it would be still enough to take it out, but it didn't. Did a pretty good amount where it could be TKO. But I now switch into the Koopa of Koopas. Uh, I wanted to use the other Hoopa form, but I didn't know if that other Hoopa form could be used against an X and Y version of the game. She decides to switch out, not trying to risk killing off her uh, sweet tune. So I go for the gut chuck, the gut chunk when I was trying to uh, use it against uh, Suicune end up getting a lucky kill off on her Sylveon so that was good and then I get a little heal up from the leftovers uh, now she says I out the Arceus here and I go for the Astonish to finish off the Arceus pretty did a good amount to do it so that's good um, get some more leftovers healed up. Then she shins out the Shaman of Shaman. Uh, seeming that the fact that Shaman is a little bit faster. It goes for the C Flare. Almost kind of killing it. So it pretty much looks like it could be a 2 kit KO right here from the Shaman. I did raise up his attack just a little bit. 5 plus 2. It will kill me the next turn. Hopefully, it will hit itself. And then we check and see if it hits itself. It does hit itself. I am able to get another gut chuck off, but I missed the gut chuck. And it ends up the fact that this turn she does end up landing a move, and that was the C flare. So now I get hit by the plus two C flare. Ends up killing off the two, but that definitely sucks. So, now we send out the Fasachi of Fasachi Shirachi and get off a fire push, killing off the shame in here. But didn't kill it off, did get the burn. That kind of sucks that we couldn't kill off this shame in here. It's pretty bulky, I guess. So, go for a C player again. Lower my special defense. It doesn't matter. The bird is taking its course. I get another fire punch off. So I'll choice scarf into it. And end up killing off the shaman. So. Now she ends up sitting out her Reshiram again. Now I gotta deal with this Reshiram again. And I don't want to use any fire moves against it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and switch out. Into. To Diancy, since it's only Diancy is the only Pokemon that could pretty much deal with a Rushiram since it's part fairy. And she tried to use the Draco Meteor, trying to take out my uh, what you call it, my uh, Sasashi, but lucky I switched into this so I could deal with that. She says I'll stick to the I used Diamond Storm, Diamond Storm didn't do as much. And then I say, you know what, I might as well switch back out because I do not want this thing to deal with this sweet tune because I know it's going to go for a water move and it is weak, and Diancy is weak to water. So, I was hoping to not get a burn, but it ends up getting a burn, so that kind of sucks. So now I'm losing health and I'm not going to, I'm getting half attack drop, so that kind of sucks. So she sends out the rushing up uh, yet again. I go for the Volt Switch here. Pretty much predicting that the fact that she was gonna go to try to switch out anyway. And ends up switching me back into Fisaki, I think it was. Yes. So this is where I was thinking what move should I go for? I went for the play rough. Play rough almost killed it, but didn't kill it. She goes for the blue flare, and I was like, whoa, blue flare, where the heck you come up with a blue flare? And kills off 
my Sasaki, so that kind of sucks. To go for another blue flare, I'm pretty much a rock type and a fairy type, so that didn't do as much damage as it needs to. I go for the moon blast, killing off the rush around, and that's a dead rush around. So she says, Yo, sorry about that. My recording just stopped for my voice. I don't know why I did that. Um, but yeah, uh, so she sends out her sweet cue, and I end up killing it off with the uh, moon blast there. And she sends out her Eevee. Her Eevee goes for a shadow ball. Uh, I think I go for another uh, moon blast as well. Trying to one shot the Eevee. I eventually do one shot the Eevee. But I didn't one shot enough to really one shot it. She goes for the tramp guard. Didn't do as much. Go for another moon blast, killing off the Eevee. And pretty much that was game. Her last Pokemon, or no, it wasn't her last. Yep, yeah, that was her last Pokemon that she ended off with. Um, if you enjoyed this legendary, halfway legendary battle, the legendary battle style. Uh, always comment, share, go watch that like button, hit the screw with shades on it, stay awesome guys, bye. Oh, and before I go, like, uh, make sure to check out her channel yet again, just giving her a shout out, check her video, or check her, uh, channel, and, again, stay awesome guys, bye.